name's Nanushka Tai. I teach psychology A level at Hastings College. Um, I've been here for nearly three years now, um, and we teach the AQA syllabus, which is um, exciting, full of lots of uh, topics that students really um, enjoy. In year one, we first start with social influence and looking at the impact that people around us have on us, social pressure, why we obey, and how um, behaviour over time changes. And then we move on to looking at memory and the impact of memory, um, how we can influence people's memories, the importance of eyewitness testimony in the judicial system. Then we look at attachment, um, the importance of our first attachment with our parents or our primary caregiver and really then looking at the impact of when that attachment is disrupted, looking at how that can lead to criminal behaviour and theories and research around that. Um, and a topic that most students really love and is their favourite is psychopathology. We look at the causes of OCD and depression and we look then, we start looking at the approaches so in psychology there's five main approaches, the psychodynamic approach which was created by Freud, was one of the early psychological thinkers, the behaviourist approach which believes all our behaviour is based on experience and the biological approach that actually our behaviour is determined by our genetics, our chemistry, our pneumochemistry and hormones and so we look at OCD for example from a biological perspective and depression from a cognitive perspective, so it's the way we think about things and if we change the way we think, that can help with depression. And running through the whole of year one, we look at research methods. Because we're psychologists, we, our, our data that we need to gather is from humans. So we look at how we gather data from humans, whether it's lab experiments or observations or questionnaires or interviews, and we learn how to carry out them and how to what the benefits of them and the weaknesses of them. So we can then, in the exam, uh, decide if we're given a scenario which is the best uh, form of research method to use and be able to justify why would we would use that. Um, so that's year one, um, and then when we move on to year two, we get into some really nice nitty gritty. We look at gender. So, what determines the gender? gender? Is it our biology? Is it our upbringing? Um, and then, kind of questioning areas around gender. So, again, is gender purely biological or is it from our environment? Um, another topic is schizophrenia. So, looking at um, the mental disorder schizophrenia, is it due to our biology again or how we're brought up by our parents and in each of these topics we look at scientific research that has uh, been done in this area and we learn to evaluate that research, so what's good about it, what's bad about it, do, can we accept it okay, or do we want to question it. And then the last topic is forensic psychology, so uh, criminal behaviour, what makes the mind of a criminal, um, which is always a favourite with the students. So yeah, um, oh and then a whole topic that runs from paper two is the approaches, which is the foundation, which I've already talked about, so the psychodynamic approach, the cognitive approach, um, biological approach and a real foundation and understanding of these different approaches which all explain psychological theory um, and behaviour of humans in a completely different way. Um, students generally have an approach that they prefer most or research that they like best and an understanding of all those approaches is needed to answer well in the exam. So psychology is not an easy A-level. And the reason it's not an easy A-level is because it doesn't just test one skill, okay? Maths, you have to be good at maths, okay? In psychology, you have to be good at maths because it's 10% of the exam. You have to be good um, and have a scientific inquiring mind and understand the scientific method because it is a science. And you have to have literacy because you're expected to answer um, your questions uh, in written uh, work, you know, writing in prose, and we've got 16 mark essay questions, and you can have up to three of those in one exam. So it really does stretch 
the individual. So we've got literacy, we've got numeracy, and we've got scientific inquiring mind. With that in mind, I really would like uh, fives in all of those subjects, no less than fives in English, maths, and science. How long are you expected to stay in college? I always tell my students that you should see going to college like a job. You come here at nine o'clock, you go to your lessons, and when you're not in lessons, you use the LRC to do your homework. If you did that, you wouldn't need to do any work at home and your evenings would be your own. If you choose to come in out of college where only when you have lessons, then I expect my students to do at least five hours outside of the classroom of their own independent study. Some of that will be guided by me. I will give you homework after every lesson. It, so it's called flipped learning. You will uh, do work in preparation for the coming lessons so that you're equipped with some knowledge and foundation. Um, and then if you finish that, I would expect you to be doing revision cards, mind maps, essay plans. So five hours a week outside of the classroom is expected in psychology. I really enjoy teaching in Hastings campus. Um, I love teaching psychology. So if you chose psychology um, to come here, you'd be uh, choosing to have a really dedicated, hard-working teacher that will ensure that you not only enjoy your course, but I will work you to achieve your best. Um, Hastings College, outside of my classroom, is friendly. All the team are really professional and hard-working, and we're all here to make you to help you become the best student you can be and to give you the opportunities to go out as an adult and achieve the best that you can. Thank you for listening to me and uh, me sharing my ideas about A-level psychology at Hastings campus. Um, if you have any questions, please do just email me and I look forward to um, answering any queries that you have. Thanks a lot. Bye.